Hi team, Horse Trader here. Today we're going to do our first coding example and we're going to be looking at the non-interactive login or the bot login. So first of all we want to import requests and then I'm just importing some additional details here so I don't have to show it on screen. So what we're aiming to do here is send a HTTP post request to an API endpoint from which we're going to get a response. The response is going to be uh, a JSON response and in it we're going to get the HTTP status and our uh, session token or SSOID as seen in previous videos. So uh, first of all let's get straight into it. We'll go and set up our parameters for our post request. So payload is going to contain our username and password. So on, on your end since you're going to be typing it in you would go for example username is equal to my username 123 and password is equal to my password 123. Since I'm just importing mine here, I'm going to do it a bit differently. I'm going to just insert my variables there. So username plus username plus password is equal to plus password. So that's going to be the equivalent of that, just inserting these string values in there. All right. So we have a payload, we need to initiate our headers. So here we're going to have um, headers is equal to X application. So you put your app key in here. Again, I'm just going to insert the variable I have imported for it. Content type, keep this the same. This is what content is going to be expected. Sorry, what type is going to be expected by the uh, request. Next, we want to go ahead and actually formulate the body or the actual request. So here we have our API endpoint. So this is where the request is going to get sent. Data, what are we going to pass? We're going to pass our username and password. Certificate, so this is where it's going to be looking for your SSL certification. So let me go ahead and put my details in there. Note, since this is just uh, the file name, it's going to look in your current working directory. But I'm not using that. I have mine stored somewhere else. So I'm using absolute paths, not relative paths. Um, and then headers is headers, just like that. So we're going to submit that request. Now we have our response. Response, response to 100. 200 is what we want to see. 200 is uh, the HTTP status code for OK. So this is a successful response, essentially. As I mentioned earlier, it's a JSON response. So let's have a look at that. Sorry, I have to import JSON first. Import JSON. Uh, oh, there we go. Rasp JSON. Let's have a look at our login status. Success, that's correct. And then we're also going to be looking for our session token. There we go. So that is the SSO idea I showed you guys how to get in the previous video. So this is going to be important for um, making all of your API calls in your current login session. You're going to need this key. Thanks for watching, guys. Please share, like, subscribe, and comment with what content you would want me to cover in future videos.